Cornelius, why y'all can't just do it for me now? No, Cornelius, you have to repent, keep the commandments. That's why I told you in the beginning, I'm going to give you the answer, but your affliction is going to depend on your being stubborn or not. Because now you know. The help is there. The answers are there. The guidance is there. The counsel is there. But Cornelius is going to determine if I'm going to continue going into the affliction I'm in or if I'm ready for a change and I want to change and get right with the most high. Not the Christian church the most high. Not that. That's not God. This, if you, that's not Jesus. That's what they've been telling you is Jesus, right? Everywhere you look, when they talk about Jesus, it look like that guy right there. You see what I'm saying? You smiling because it's true. That's what they give you. Not knowing that the most high God looks like you. Right. Go. Go there. Revelations 114. Just that in itself, Cornelius, if you would embrace that, come back to your, your, your true nationality. Come back into keeping the commandments of the most high God. Then guess what? I promise you those burdens will get lighter. I can promise you that. Because the Bible says it. Right. He said you keep my commandments and I'll give you blessings. You break my commandments and I'm going to give you curses. Right. It's that simple. But everything you've been moving thus far, been under the banner of that guy right there. Right. Cedric Bozan. Right. Pope Alexander the Sixth, son. Scout time. That's what he been giving you, Cordelia. He been giving you right. scout time. That's what you've been following. But watch this. Revelation 1 to 14. Read that. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Cornelius, do me a favor. Take your hat off. Take your hat off, Cornelius. Come on, man. Come on. Here you go. Now watch this. Read that again. His head and his hairs were white like wool. He said Christ had white woolly hair. Right? What people on the face of the earth today got woolly hair? Who? Not white. Huh? Not white. Not white? Then who? The Israelites. That's right. The Israelites. You were right. I just want to give you the right terminology. Because that black, that black is what they gave us when they did this to us. And when they did that to us. That's like a derogatory statement. That's like a derogatory. That's like if they called you a nigga. That's right. what black is like. When they call you black African American, it's just like that. It's just as if they called you nigga, because that's not your name. That's right. not your nationality. That's not what God called you. God called you an Israelite, and He said, "Guess what? You from the tribe of Judah." That's right. And just so happened, the real Messiah, Jesus Christ, is from the same tribe you from. That's right. So in reality. The blood that flows through Christ's vein flows through yours today. Right. So when we describing Christ, we're gonna end up describing you. Right? Because they had white, yeah, wool, white woolly hair. That's the same hair you got on your head. That's what that texture is. That's wool. Right? Read. As white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. And he had red eyes. He didn't shoot laser beams out his eyes. He wasn't like or Cyclops and stuff like that. He didn't have them abilities. He wasn't doing that. He didn't do that. But the whites of his eyes were red. Because guess what? When we drink alcohol, the whites of our eyes turn red. Christ drunk wine in moderation. Right? So he had woolly hair. He had red eyes. That guy lost. There's no woolly hair. There's no red eyes. Right, right. Why, except for the Visine commercial. But that guy that talked monotone, the whole red eyes. Look, you know what I'm talking about, Cordelius. Read. And his feet, like unto fine brass. And it said his feet, Cordelius, was like fine brass. You ever seen a penny? What color is it? She says that she's African. Sis, you African? Sis, you African? Real quick, watch this. Cornelius, I'm showing the image, image of Christ, right? They say he had woolly hair and he had feet like brass. What color is brass? Like copper white? Yes, like a penny. What color is that? Brown. Brown. Now watch this. As if they burned in a furnace. Now if you burn that, what color is it going to turn? Black. You want to know what Christ looked like? What? Look at this brother right here. Just like that. Oh, that's right. That's what Christ looked like, Cornelius. We just read it. 
as if he burned in a furnace. You burn cop, you burn that copper, all that that, that 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 brass in the furnace, it come out looking like me and you. Right. It don't come out looking like that. That's right. That's not Jesus. Right. That that guy right there, that's who told you you was black. That's who told you you was African. That guy right there. Believe it or not, Cornelius like, I ain't never talked to him. What are you talking about? He ain't never talked to me. Cornelius, believe it. That guy been teaching everybody that been teaching you. you know. That come from him. Right. That come from him. Since now you say you African, Cornelius, you don't, you don't think you African, right? What's your nationality, Cornelius? You got me a Jew. Jew. You a Jew? You from the tribe of Judah. You're an Israelite. That's right. I'm happy you got it, though. I'm about to say, come on, Cornelius, now. You don't have to throw this mic at you. Knock him side your head with this mic. He <laughs> come and say African American. We just said all that stuff. But sis, that's just like what we showing them, right? You said you thought you were Africans. Yeah. Sis, you ain't seen Africans. I didn't say he's from Africans. Sis, they be behind cows, letting them pee on their head, and uh, that's what you. That's what you want to claim. I mean, uh, some of them are beautiful. <laughs> some of them are beautiful. Uh, yeah. You know what the Africans was doing? Yeah. Leviticus 18. Let me show you what the Africans yeah. was doing. And I want to know you claim you claim I ain't claiming Africans, but I'm gonna show you the Africans what they was doing, cause you know whenever you ever heard the story of Moses, right? Yeah. When we was in Egypt, yes. underneath the Africans, cause Egyptians are Africans, yes. Yes. right? And when we went there, we was underneath them for 400 plus years, right? 400 years of slavery underneath the Egyptians. When we came out, we had picked up a lot of those customs, right? So shaving our head bald and stuff like that. Right. Those came from the, the Africans. But God, when he took us out of Egypt, he said, look, I'm going to let y'all know right now. Yeah, cutting your eyebrows off, all that came from the Africans. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And God, when he had, he had to clean us up because he said, oh, hell no. Y'all done got all these traits of these Africans. We got to stop this. Watch this, Leviticus 18 and 1. Leviticus chapter 18 and verse 1. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, speak unto the children of Israel. And say unto them, I am the Lord your God. So he said, Moses, first I need to tell you, because when they was in Egypt, they were serving uh, Thut, Moses, and, uh, and, and Ra, and all these other gods. And Look, let them know that I'm the Lord their God. I am the Lord God. There is no other God, right? Read. After the doings of the land of Egypt, all that stuff they learned in Egypt, Moses, tell them everything they learned in Egypt, wherein ye dwelt, shall ye not do. He said, everything that y'all learned under them Africans, do not do it. Right. Do not do it. Right. Because the African ways, they altered themselves. They would change themselves, they'll shave their head, then they'll put on wigs. Like I got right there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but guess what? They altered themselves, but in reality, we are the perfection of beauty. Wow. That's right. Because we were created after the most high God in heaven. Right. So he gave us a clean way of living and then we went underneath the Africans and learned their way of living. But watch this. Go to verse verse 4. Let's see, let's see one of these, let's see some of the ways of the Africans. Let's read them. Go ahead. Ye shall do my judgments and keep my ordinances to walk therein. I am the Lord your God. Ye shall therefore keep my statutes and my judgments, which if a man do, he shall live. So he said, if you keep my ordinance and my statutes, the commandments of the Most High God, this is what you're going to need to live. They need to stop all that stuff that they was doing with the Africans. So let's show them some of the ways that the Africans are living that God said y'all cannot keep doing that. Watch this. Go to verse 7. Verse 7. Yep. The nakedness of thy father or the nakedness of thy mother shalt thou not uncover. So you had children sleeping with their fathers and sleeping with their mothers. That's what Africans do, right? No, so no, I got, no, no sis, sis, like sis, 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 hold on, sis. You see one of the Africans. Right, no. So they were sleeping with their fathers and the mothers were sleeping with their children. Let's see some other ways. Can you read? She is thy mother. Thou shalt not uncover her nakedness. Huh? The nakedness of thy father's wife. Shalt thou not uncover? So you had the Africans sleeping with their father's wives. This is just some of the ways of the Africans, sis. That's all I'm showing you. God said, don't do that. Watch, keep reading. The nakedness of thy father's wife shalt thou not uncover. 
It is thy father's nakedness, uh -huh. the nakedness of thy sister, the daughter of thy father, or daughter of thy mother. Where, excuse me, whether she be born at home or born abroad. So you had Africans slept with their sisters. So some Africans that were brother, they would sleep with the brothers would sleep with the sisters. God said y'all can't do that, right? These are the ways of the Africans. Drop down to verse 19. Verse 19. Also, that verse 18. Verse 19. Also, thou shalt not approach unto a woman to uncover her nakedness as long as she be put apart for her uncleanness. So then you had Africans sleeping with women while they were on a menstrual cycle. God said, you're not supposed to do that. Right. Right? I got you. I got you, sis. I'm going to show you that. That's way. That's some of the way, right? Keep reading. Moreover, thou shalt not lie carnally with thy neighbor's wife to defile thyself with her. So a lot of people were sleeping with their neighbor's wives. That's what the Africans did. That was the part of their custom, right? Drop down to verse 23. Verse 23. Neither shalt thou lie with any beast to defile thyself therewith. Neither shall any woman stand before a beast to lie down there too. It is confusion. The Africans slept with animals. Yes. So sis, keep in mind we was jumping around. This is just some of the ways of the Africans that the Most High said you do not need to do. Because the confusion says, what's your name? Donna. Donna? Well, we were talking about showing, showing the sister that she was, what's your name, sis? Zuri. Zuri and Donna. Yes. We were showing Zuri that we are not Africans. Right. See, Donna, you thinking like, I thought we was Africans. I don't know what I'm saying. No, no. I'm just, I'm, I'm pondering on No, 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 no. But that's what they tell us. Right. That's what, uh, people that did this to us, that's what they did. They whipped us and they, they broke us and said, you are not Israelites, you are Africans. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. You are African Americans, you are Negroes, you are colors. You see what I'm saying? That's the same people that fed our babies to alligators. They beat us and auctioned off our wives and kids to other house, to other uh, slave plantations, took the father and took them away from the families. That's what they did. These are all, this is actual photos. You see what I'm saying? This is actual photos. You ever watched that movie Emancipation? I did. That's based off of this brother right here. You see what I'm saying? This is the actual, this is the real brother though. That picture that he took at the end, those people that beat us and took us into slavery, they said you are African. Right. But God didn't call you Africans. You know what God called y'all? Nope, Egyptians are Africans. See right here? Egyptians are Africans. Where we from, we come from Israel, which is northeast, north, northeast, north, northeast, northeast Africa, right? Northeast Africa. That's part of the continent that we uh, we come from Israel. That's the homeland of our, that's our birth land, right? So you have the Africans, which are from Ham. Anybody got a Bible dictionary? Compact Bible dictionary? Say that again. You have the three sons, right? You familiar with uh, uh, Noah? Yeah. And Noah had three sons. Uh -huh. Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Uh -huh. And from those three come all of us, uh -huh. right? We came from the line of Shem. The Africans came from the line of Ham. We didn't come from the line of Ham. You understand? No. Yes. Ham. Ham. We come from Shem. Watch, now I'm going to prove to y'all. So, I'm going to take our history to prove the identity of who we are in the Bible. Name me some of the things that happened to us in slavery. Just, just name me some things. Name some of the things that happened to us in slavery. I don't know. I wasn't there. How did we get, how did we get to America from Africa? Well, they said a white man brought us over. Brought us how? Sis, you, you too. How did they bring us here in slavery? 
On ships? On slave ships, right? And when we got here, did they did they open welcome us in with open arms? Or did they sell us? They auctioned us, right? And when they auctioned us, what about our what about our they flip they split up the families, right? Did they rape and rob our, our people? Did they rape our women, our wives and stuff like that? There's nothing we could do to get them back? Joel 319. Did they take our children from us? All those things happen, right? Now I'm gonna show you those same things in the Bible to prove to you that you aren't African, you are Israelite. We are from the nation of Israel. Watch this. Joel chapter three and verse 19. Egypt shall be a desolation. So sis, you don't wanna be an Egyptian or African. Because God, most I said, this is what he got for them. Watch this. Egypt shall be a desolation, and Edom shall be a desolate wilderness. So Edom, which is your so-called white man, in the Bible, the first documented white man comes from Esau. His nation of people that come from him were the Edomites. Read it, right? He said they're going to be a desolation. His destruction coming for the Africans and the so-called white man. Right? That's it? Keep reading. For the violence against the children of Judah. Guess what? Edom and the Africans, what a sign that, done this to our people. Because you know how they say Africans sold Africans into to slavery? No. Africans sold Israelites into slavery. Right, right. Who? Us. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models.